let's talk a little bit about the the personal experience questions and how did these go what did you do and what were the questions which questions did you get and, and they're on the website from McKinsey. <laughs> okay <laughs> you get, i'm not i'm not giving away any trade secrets here there were three it's inclusive leadership entrepreneurial mindset and personal impact and okay in the first round, I mean, it just depends on who you get, but you get two of the three. I got personal impact and and inclusive leadership. And this is so funny. I mean, the whole the whole game here is so they publish their question on the website. So you publish word for word, word for word, word, word for word. Yeah, they want to make this easy, mm -hmm. and and there is a way of preparing this. And then people struggle so badly with it. So the, the, the real underlying question is, can you say the right thing at the right time? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and again, they had lots of different styles. Some, some interviewers wanted to know like the, the type of tea we were drinking, you know, in the room when I was having that difficult conversation. I mean, obviously not to that level, but you know, they really went deep and they really wanted to understand how you were feeling in the moment and really wanted to understand your role and, Others kind of let me tell my story and then maybe probed one or two things if they weren't sure on. And how did you tell your stories? Just situation, complication. This is the action I took. This was the impact. And this was the lessons learned. Cool. And what did they, how did they react when you... I mean, some people say, I can't give such a scripted answer. Yeah, so I went every time. Why don't I test the headline with you first to see if it's applicable for the question? And then I'd be like, so the head, like a tweet, the headline is, you know, I had a situation where a client rejected my whole work stream that I was trying to do. That sounds like it's going to fit for the personal impact and a time you had a challenging client or someone disagreed, like, cool. Then I'd be like, the situation. You, wait, wait, okay. let's go a little deeper. You, so you gave like the, the headline and you mm -hmm. probed whether this is an answer they're looking for. Mm -hmm. Awesome. This is amazing. Risk Every time. Here. Okay. And then it also... Like, tell me, tell me verbatim. Like, I would ask, like, tell me about a time where you had a challenging client situation. Sure. So I, maybe I test the headline with you just to make sure it's applicable. And then I can go through the context and the action I took. So the, the headline was effectively, I was leading a work stream working with McKinsey and I piloted it in one region of the UK, took it to another region and the leadership team in the other region. Oh, wait, what rejected was, my what story. was the, you said all this, you said, yeah. can I test the headline with you? Yeah. Oh, awesome. That's a cool script. Can I test the headline? Tested the headline. Hmm. You, you really said, okay, th th can I test my headline with you? It's a situation where we had a, a project with McKinsey and the client refused to, they were like, okay, yes. Yeah. Ah, very interesting. Okay. Word for word. Good. Okay, that's and awesome. Because I wanted to make, you know, I knew it I, in the back of my mind. I think I knew it fitted because of three questions and you have your, but it. I think it puts onus on them to be like present in the moment as well and thinking like, oh shit, this guy's or girl is, mm -hmm. is an active participant in this conversation. Mm -hmm. Um. Then the other thing I'd do, I'd give the context and then I'd say, again, I had another script to say, you know, um, that was the, maybe if I just pause there for a second, do you have any questions on the context and situation before I take you through my actions? And said that every time. And then if they had questions or I hadn't said, you know, one time I didn't explain something very well. They're like, I don't really get it. You know, I could tell they didn't really get it. So I paused and, and they were like, what? Can you give me a bit more? And then I gave him a bit more and we were ah. moving together through it. Awesome. But it's very, very interesting. I mean, it shows how, how sort of how much this is a give and take. Most people perceive this as they ask a question and then you have to give them the perfect answer. But it's no, it's it's, it's a give and take. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, and 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 some of them may I had like one associate who was awesome who interviewed me and he was just really helpful. And they're like, they can be so helpful. And he I kind of pinched the idea from him because he was like, test the headline with me to make sure it works because I don't want you to run off and it's the wrong thing. And then I just tried that with the partners and it was, it was really effective. Mm. Okay. So how did the, the bragging about yourself work in the, in, when you tell your stories, when you talked about the impact, 
you had? Um, yeah, I, I mean, you, you, it should feel uncomfortable in terms of, <laughs> but it didn't at the time because I'd worked on it and I knew that was what they, they were after, right? So, like, tell me, an example. tell me an example of what feels an uncomfortable level of bragging about yourself. Um, you know, one, I, so my entrepreneurial mindset, I basically helped, you know, I took some action to help two companies stay as members for the organization. And I just kind of claimed, you know, there were probably 10 factors involved and mine was one tenth of that. And I just said, you know, if I hadn't done it, I don't think they would have stayed as part of the organization and, and just really owned the role I had and, and played, it's not, yeah, and played that up really. <laughs> Can you say the right thing at the right time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. And I think, you know, it's a, culturally as an Australian, it's really, you know, we, we discussed this, like it's, we have that tall puppy syndrome and it's not natural to be like, you know, I did this and I had that impact and now they want to be, you know, and now we've got great client relationship and they keep coming back and emailing me. And, you know, that, that, that wasn't, that was hard for me to kind of get across. And, and the whole time I was also thinking like, my stories aren't good enough. Um, you know, this has to be an, an incredible story. And my stories weren't, you know, amazing i didn't you know save someone's life or you know anything yeah you didn't significant you, you, impact you didn't free south africa without violence from <laughs> or uh, no. uh, yeah 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 but that's the thing that's that's exactly what i'm teaching your stories are good enough you just need to learn to tell a story and not forget the elements the mm -hmm. why was this important what i did what did i actually do what was the impact of this just learn to tell a nice story and then yeah absolutely run and I through think this the lessons learned is, is also really good as well because there was a couple of times i didn't get that out naturally and they were like is there anything else you want to add and that's when i went oh there was three lessons i learned from this a b and c and i think in some perhaps where i didn't nail it getting that lessons learned across kind of re-emphasized the key points that they were looking for mm. And, and that was the key points from the questions on the website around, you know, what you should show in each of these things. So I tried to really tailor my learnings to what I thought they were looking for in each question. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. That yeah. taught me how to be a value of entrepreneurship. This taught me that entrepreneurship means that I sometimes have to go up against resistance. So yeah. Whatever the learning is. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, and then some, I didn't talk about my lessons learned because they were happy with the, the, the story and we moved on. So, 